Hello, how do you solve t times t times t equals 1 divided by 8? Now, let's multiply this out from the left hand side. We have t times t times t. That is t to the power of 3. And this equals 1 divided by 8. Now, remember, we are solving for all values of t, which are complex and real solutions. Because there is another way of solving this that will only give you the real value of t. For instance, I can decide to write this 1 over 8 as 8 power negative 1. Remember this identity, if you have 1 over a, this equals a power negative 1. So, if I do that, that means I'm going to have t power 3 equals 8 power negative 1. And remember, 8 equals 2 to the power of 3. So from here, I can have t power 3 equals 2 to the power of 3 raised to the power of negative 1. And from here, we make use of this identity, a power n all to the power of n equals a power n times n. So if you multiply this out, you have t power 3 equals 2 power negative 3. So from here now, you can easily get the real solution. But we are not making use of this. Rather, we are going to make use of logarithm. So we are going to make use of logarithm. Now this is how we are going to solve it. So this is how we are going to solve it. So right now, I will just recopy this. Then t times t times c is obviously, this is t power 3 equals the same thing as 1 divided by 8. So this is what I'm going to do. I can have t power 3 equals, remember, I can express this one as 1 power 3. And 1 power 3 is 1 divided by, I can express this 8 as 2 power 3. Have you seen it? So right now, remember if you have a power c divided by b power c, this equals a divided by b or to the power of c. So by making use of this identity here, I can have t power 3 equals 1 divided by 2 or to the power of 3. Have you seen it now? So right now, what I'm going to do is to move this over here. I can have t power 3, then minus, we have 1 divided by 2 to the power of 3, and this equals 0. So at this particular point, we have power 3 here, we have power 3 here. Here, the issue that we had here was that this is negative 3, and this is 3, so you can only maybe make use of log. But right now, we can expand this, making use of a power 3, minus b power 3, which equals a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b to the power of 2. And our a is t, while b is, this is 1 over 2. So let's do that. We are going to have a minus b, that means we are going to have t minus 1 over 2 times a squared, that is t power 2, plus a b, that is t times 1 over 2, that is t over 2, plus b squared, that is 1 over 2, to the power of 2, and everything equals 0. So at this point, the next step will be for us to uh, simplify this further. We have t minus 1 over 2, times this is t squared plus this is t over 2 plus 1 power 2 is 1 divided by 2 power 2 that is 4 and this equals 0. So we are going to equate each of these to 0. We have t minus 1 over 2 equals 0 or we have this t squared plus t over 2 plus 1 over 4 equals 0. So let's solve this first equation and find the first real solution for t. So you can move this negative 1 over 2 over here. We have t equals 1 over 2. This is our t1. So this is the real solution. Now let's solve this to find 
the other solutions. Now, before we can solve this using the formula method, we are going to make sure that the denominator are the same. Let's find the common LCM, which is 4. So we have 4 here as the common LCM. Now, 4 divides 1, 4, 4 times t squared, this is 4 t squared, plus 4 divided 2, 2, 2 times t, that is 2t, plus 4 divides 4, 1, 1 times 1, we have 1. And this equals the 4 here, we multiply the 0, and we have 0. So we have 4t squared plus 2t plus 1. If you multiply this 4 by 0, you have 0. Right? So this is the equation that we have. Now, the next step will be for us to solve this quadratic equation. And we are going to solve this using the formula method. We have t equals negative p plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4 times ac divided by 2 times a. And a is the 4, which is the equation of t squared. b is the 2, which is the equation of t. And c is the 1, which is the constant. So let's insert it right here. We have t equals negative b, that is negative 2, plus or minus square root of b squared, 2 power 2 minus 4 times a, 4 times c, 1, divided by 2 times a, that is 4. From here, we have t equals, this is negative 2 plus or minus square root of 2 squared, that is 4 minus this 16, 16 times 1, that is 16 divided by 8. So from here, we are going to have t equals negative 2 plus or minus square root of 4 minus 16. This is negative 12 divided by 8. So from here, ft equals negative 2 plus or minus. This minus 6, we have square root of negative 1 times square root of 12 divided by 8. So from here, you are going to have t equals negative 2 plus or minus square root of negative 1. Here is i times square root of 12. This is 4 times 3 divided by 8. So from here, you have t equals negative 2 plus or minus i times square root of 4, that is 2, times root of 3, divided by 8. So from here, we have 2 cancel itself once. Cancel 8, we have 4. Cancel this, we have 1. So from here, we have t equals, this is negative 1 plus or minus i times this is root 3 divided by 4. So, at this point, I can have it as t equals 1 over 4 times negative 1 plus or minus i root 3. Now we have two complex solutions for t, which are t equals this is 1 over 4 times negative 1 plus i root 3, or another one, which is t equals 1 over 4 times negative 1 minus i root of 3. Now, remember, we still had our real solution. We still have that one here, which is t equals 1 over 2. Now, if you want to insert that value for t right now, remember the problem. You have check, which is t times t times t equals 1 over 8. So let's insert 1 over 2 here. We have 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 times 1 over 2. This equals 1 over 8. 1 times 1 times 1, that's 1 divided by 2 times 2 times 2, 2 times 2, 4, 4 times 2, 8. And this equals 1 over 8. So ladies and gentlemen, that is it. This solution has satisfied the equation. And that brings us to the end of the video. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video to your friends. Thank you.
goodbye. You can drop any comments on the comment box. I will appreciate that. Share this video.